So this is the Young Timers Garage. And he just got these cars uh, in the last two days. So the Cadillac got here yesterday and the two Mercedes a couple days ago. This is so cool. Oh man. Mark, what did you do? What's up, man? What's up? Nothing much. Dude. Just picked up a couple barn find uh, 190 SLs. And a Cadillac. And a Cadillac. <laughs> Mark is like the European car guy. And I know you guys know me as the European car guy, but I love American cars as well. And I actually owned a 63 Sedan DeVille. And this is a new addition too, right? Yeah, this is a 2006 CLS 55 Runtec, um, straight from Florida. And uh, Hartmut, the owner of Runtec, actually used to own this car and use it as his demo car in SEMA. So really cool uh, i was able to meet him and uh, have him look over the car and kind of verify that it was his so there's about i think thirty thousand dollars of mods in this thing what was the story you bought these as a package deal right yeah i got these as a package deal um so the gentleman that owned them he owned i believe like a, cor a corn tortilla factory and um I guess he just lost interest in the cars and they sat in his house in Chicago for a number of years and uh actually 26 years to be exact and uh, then his uh, son-in-law was selling them for him uh, since he needed help selling them. And uh, I happened to get in contact with uh, a good friend of mine, Ian, and he got me in touch with the seller. And long story short, they're here now. All right, so we believe the white one is a 1957. The red one is definitely a 1957. And these are 190 SLs. This is quite the barn find, dude. You know it's legit when it's got this much poop going on under the hood yeah that increases the value of so definitely definitely does you got to save that <laughs> um let's see here year of manufacture look at that it is 19 i think that's an eight i think let's see it has your weight on there stuttgart so this is a four-cylinder engine it looks to have two carburetors solex carburetors and I gotta say, everything looks untouched. So you said this thing ran like 26 years ago? I know that the red one ran in 95. That's when the plate on it is was last registered. And this one, I don't know. I think maybe around the same time, but I know the owner got them as a, uh, he got both of them at the same time. And uh, the Cadillac too. The Cadillac's got a city sticker, right? From yeah, 83 or something? Yeah, that was 83, so I think <laughs> we could assume it was running in 83. That's unreal. So right off the bat, the white one looks to be in pretty decent condition. The chrome looks really nice. It's very intact. It doesn't seem to really be missing much on the outside. And this thing is going to clean up nicely. And look at these seals. They're a little dry rotted, but nothing too bad. The wipers look good. This is always a very important area to look at on really any older car, and that is around the glass, so the front and the back glass. Look at this interior. This is so cool. I don't know what's going on right here. Maybe a little bit of water or something got in. Yeah, there's a little bit of surface rust going on there. Oh, man. Beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at the attention to detail. You have the Mercedes star there on the clutch and the brake pedal, probably at some point on the gas pedal. What is going on here? Is this straight up wood in here? So a wood floor mat, I guess. You got a speaker right here, <laughs> AM, FM radio. All right, so I think this is to pop the hood, handbrake choke, I believe. And then that is your switch for the brights? No, that's the switch for the uh, foot pump for the windshield washer sprayer. It's got a foot pump windshield washer sprayer? Yeah, at least my 108 did. I'm pretty sure. No that's what way. That is. There's a little pouch up front. <laughs> Comment down below, guys. Is that a foot pump washer sprayer? If it is, that is the coolest thing I've ever seen. All right, so obviously I love Mercedes. That's like 50% of my channel is Mercedes-Benz content. I'm personally into the newer kind of performance Mercedes stuff, and I don't have much experience with the older classics, obviously. Um, but as a kid, what got me into the hobby of cars in general were old school cars, were cars from the 50s, 60s, muscle cars, and I absolutely love Cadillac. I used to have a 1963 Sedan DeVille that I daily drove when I lived in a small condo in downtown Chicago and I just had an outdoor parking spot uh, to park in. People thought I was nuts. This thing would stick out like four feet into the alley past where all the other cars would be. They weren't designed for 1963 Cadillacs, but 
anyway, I could go on forever about that car. I loved it. I drove it all the time. Um, but this is truly what I wanted. As a big fan of Ghostbusters, they used a 1959 Cadillac for the Ecto-1. And that's exactly what this is. And this is quite literally the peak of the Finn eras. So this this is like the biggest the Finns got. And then they started to get progressively smaller after this. My 1963 was kind of like the end of the big Finns, but this this is everything, man. This is like, this is old school Cadillac to me. Uh, when I think of Cadillac in general, I'm thinking of something like this. So when Mark sent me a picture of this guy, he said something along the lines of like, he just bought those and this was kind of like tossed in at the end as a bonus. I'm like, a bonus? So what's crazy about some of these Cadillacs is the rear can actually kind of look like the front. <laughs> so this was the pinnacle of American design back in the day. And uh, this is what kind of coined the phrase the Cadillac of something. These were phenomenal cars. These were top of the line in America at the time. You gotta remember, there weren't too many imports here yet. And this is a flat top sedan DeVille. So it is not chopped. It comes like this from the factory. And this was an option. They had this rounded glass back here. Some of them had uh, kind of a more straight edge design with another pillar, I believe, back here. So this is pretty cool. And then they had a less expensive model too, the Series 60. Too, but this is a Sedan DeVille. They also had a Fleetwood, I believe, and they might have had one more, but look at this guy. Oh man, the chrome on here is unbelievable. And this thing looks pretty straight. I gotta say, it looks pretty decent. It's not all rotted out so far, so far. They can be hiding a lot. Guys, we found the coolest stuff on the passenger side and Mark has a vintage title. So we're gonna take a look at that here in a minute. But something I really wanted to show you, and this is huge for older cars like this, is the Cove Commuter 2 speaker. This guy is phenomenal for an old car where you want to have the modern creature comforts of a modern stereo, but you don't want to cut this kind of car up and it gets insanely loud. This video doesn't do it justice, guys. This thing is super bassy. It sounds so good. And... It splits into two. You have full stereo, it kind of does a little surround sound thing like this. It's really good and I use this guy everywhere, whether I'm on the deck, whether I'm working on the garage. And if you have a car where you want Bluetooth, you want to be able to answer a phone call, you want to be able to jam out all day because the battery life is nuts on these. They last like seven hours, I've gotten even more. Um, this is the way to do it. And you can just bring this on the go, bring it to the beach, bring it wherever you want really really nice speakers and it's kind of like getting two for the price of one best part is if you use my link down below and the coupon code ls68 you're gonna get 68 percent off of the cove commuter too you're gonna love this speaker i have a couple of them pretty much everyone in my family does too they're really really nice quality speakers and you can use them basically everywhere so check out the link down below don't forget ls68 for the coupon code now let's take a look it's some cool stuff here. And by the way, you have to listen to 50s music when you're driving this car. You can't listen to anything modern. That would be nuts. Gun for the meter change. We'll hurry back. 1965. Awesome. We have a Kleenex box from back in the day. It says 1938. That's probably when the company started. But this looks so 50s with the pink. It's actually in really good shape. And this is the title. Look at this. And you know this person's name was Lucille. It had to be Lucille, okay? That is such a 1959 type of name right there. And I don't know why it says 51 for the horsepower. That's kind of weird. Um, but eight cylinder, 1962, uh, Chicago, Lucille Brewer. You were driving a really, really cool car. Although at the time, this was just normal for you. But oh my gosh, the history, the history guys is crazy. Chicago 1982 that was when we used to actually have cool designs for the city stickers and they got rid of that a while back For some crazy reason, but they used to have a contest on who could draw up next year's city sticker And that is back when they used to do that very very cool very retro Love it and it looks like an animal loved this thing, too. They've been crawling all over it. Let's take a look at the interior I've never sat in one of these cars before. This is a spaceship. Look at this Look at this. This is nuts. Wow. So you have your power window switches right here. This is your washer fluid button. And these are your wiper switches 
Reminds you it's a Cadillac right there. You got your lights. And these cars did have an option for the Autronic Eye, I believe it was called. And it would sit up on the dash, maybe somewhere over here. And it was a light sensor that would automatically turn your brights off when oncoming traffic was coming at you. So you wouldn't blind them. And that came out in 1952. Some cars today don't even have that. It was very high tech at the time. Um, it looked kind of futuristic just sitting there. I'm actually surprised the Sedan DeVille wouldn't have have that option um, but maybe it's something you could have gone back to the dealer to have it installed it's a living room back here so cool Seats eight comfortable. yeah i mean you can fit the entire family in this cadillac look at this trim look at this the yeah yeah that's right this is completely pillarless so with all the windows down there's nothing in your way the rounded glass in the back the fins i seriously can't get enough i could be here forever I just want to, I know it's nasty, but I just want to like hang out in the interior and just like imagine myself, <laughs> you know, just driving this thing around. Oh, so cool. Look at that. That is awesome. <laughs> oh, look at this. It's got a sticker right here that tells you when to change the hydromatic fluid. Wow. I mean, and that is like secured into the steel of the car. You must change that hydromatic fluid, the transmission fluid. Oh wait, look at these look at these seat switches. Cool. Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. Oh ho, ho, ho. yeah, that thing yeah. a ton. She needs a carbon fiber hood. <laughs> this has a cartridge style oil filter. AC compressor. We have <laughs> a glass jar. <laughs> oh, wow, I didn't even notice that. Is that for the windshield washer fluid? Yeah. Wow, it's a glass jar. That's cool. That is so cool. It's still intact. Yeah. We got some poop. Classic. Yeah, you know they give you little they give you little cubbies here to hold fluids and parts and whatnot. Got a Harrison radiator. And it says Cadillac right on the valve covers. And I'm pretty sure this is the 390 cubic inch V8 with like three and a quarter horsepower. Not a lot, especially considering the size and weight of this car. But this is a very intact car. This is an excellent candidate for a restoration. Body by Fisher. General Motors Division, Michigan, Detroit, Michigan. This is it. This is it. For me, this is it. I would love one of these cars. They're very, very expensive when they're restored. Um, but I have seen drivers in like the twenty to forty thousand dollar range. Um, so it's feasible that you can just buy one of these, cruise around, and probably not lose a lot of value. Oh, look at this. They hid the gas cap. Very stylish. There it is. And this this guy opens up. Yeah, this. Is a good car. Oh, it's already. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Deluxe champion tire. Cool. Okay, you have the uh, jacking instructions. I mean, that, that looks great. That looks to be in perfect condition. Wow, this is a really nice car. Of course, some issues right here and whatnot, but yeah, frame off restoration on this would definitely be worth it. This will be saved. All right, so far I'm really liking this white 190 SL. So let's take a look at the red one. So this is a 1957, same model. It looks to be at the very least dirtier than the white one. Um, not really sure if it's in any worse condition or if it just looks that way right now. But yeah, right off the bat, you know, this chrome, it's in a little bit worse condition than the white one. And yeah. Yeah, this one's having some paint issues. Paint is flaking off. Whereas, I gotta say, this thing might actually just clean up. I mean, you can go as far as you want with the restoration, but you could probably clean this thing up and it'd be pretty presentable. Um, whereas this guy would require a paint job. Um, or you could just kind of drive it around like a sweet rat rod. Rat rod. It could be a rat rod. <laughs> so the white one's your show car. This is the uh, daily driver. And yeah. Looks to be pretty much the same as the other one with the seats. Although Mark was saying that this is just dirt and it'll come off. So let's see here. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think the window might have been cracked or something and maybe some water got in there. Or... Yeah, definitely. Oh man, we are totally cleaning these seats. I brought some stuff. Nice. We're going to clean this seat and uh, see what it looks like compared to that one. We have what we think pumps the washer fluid. Uh, the handbrake, the choke, I think. Not sure what that guy is. Let us know. Let us know if you are a vintage Mercedes expert and you have all of the answers, please comment down below. But let's see if there's any differences. Oh, this is cool. So this is the little light and you can see the lens. And then we have the ashtray and the cover is wood. 
Oh, this is awesome. Really cool. And this is a Becker, Becker, Mexico? Is that what it says? I think it says Becker, Mexico. I, I don't know what it says there. Yeah. Um, but dude, what is this? What is, what is, no idea what that is. What? Like maybe some sort of horn or something. It's got a pictures, it's got, it's got pictures of horns and we have a volume and a play button. Or a music box. A music box, I don't know. Here's your speaker. This is crazy. And it looks like it's missing the clock. The clock used to be right here. It's a big glove box, I never opened this one. Oh cool, this one actually opens. Oh nice, cool. I think this is the pouch where the owner's manual went. And yeah, it's got a little water going on. Oh wow, type 190 SL. Okay, I really want to read this, but we might crack it in half if we if we try to open it. Let's just see. Very cool. Repair number. Please have the following jobs for the care of paintwork and chrome plated parts. Oh my gosh. I want to read this entire thing, but it's so delicate right now. Yeah, we got a little bit of mold going on here. And uh, let's see, 1992. So 1993, so these are registration. Oh, look at that. You got a clock. Put the, put the eBay app down, Mark. You got the clock right here. I think this looks a little different than the other one. Not sure. Very nice, very nice. The interior on this guy is pretty decent, I must say. Yeah, I think and, the carpet will clean up. Oh, look at this. What is this crazy compartment, dude? No idea. What? So this is glued onto the carpet. Yeah, it's just a little compartment. It's just completely empty. It's kind of hard to see in here, guys. There's not much to see. It's just a little compartment. So, I got nothing. I've never seen anything like that. Have you? Have you no. seen anything? You've had some of these old cars, right? I've never seen a compartment like that. I mean. Yeah, it's just totally empty. So, I don't know what I don't know what you keep in there. <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> Maybe your Tommy gun? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's got the little compartment on this side, too. What's weird is it's, I don't know if it's just like fused to the carpet due to just, you know, water or whatever, but it, it seems to almost be glued to the carpet, but it clearly is meant to open and there's room to put stuff in there. So here's one of the latches to get the hard top off. We're not going to mess with that right now, but it looks like someone created their own seal right here. <laughs> it's kind of weird. So hopefully it helped with water not coming in. Need a new seal there. You need quite a few new things here, Mark. So yeah, I mean, this is definitely a respray and you can tell they... Sprayed over some of the suspension. No big deal, needs a whole new paint job anyway. Let's see, wow, I gotta say the floors don't look too bad. Kinda hard to show you, but underneath here is actually in pretty decent condition, at least what matters. Uh, the floorboards and whatnot. The exhaust, you know, is uh, shot. There's a hole in the muffler, but overall, it's looking pretty good. All right guys, so we're gonna clean this seat a little bit. We're not gonna go too crazy here, but I just wanna see the difference between this guy and that guy. So all this is is diluted Tide. And it seems to work really well. It's pretty gentle. Oh, wow. <laughs> we don't even need to use the brush yet. Look at that. Just trying to get the big stuff off first. Oh, this is gonna be nice. Mark, this is the most satisfying thing I've ever done. Oh, well, it's just... Let's just mint this thing out completely. You trust everything. Seriously, I could do this all day. Some people do do this all day. Smells so good now. <laughs> Mint. Restored. That's all it takes, guys. All right, that's a frame off restoration in my world. <laughs> wow, beautiful, beautiful. Can I do some of the steering wheel? I'll just do a little section. I know, I know you want to do this. I know you want to do this. Hang on. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is great. 
Okay, all right, I'm done, I'm done. I'll let you do the rest. <laughs> all right, that'll do it for today's video. Make sure to check out Mark Young Timers Garage here on YouTube and on Instagram. He's gonna be updating you on all three of these project cars. And I may come out here again. We may clean some of them. Uh, we may tinker around, put a battery in them, see what lights up, see what happens. So let us know in the comments section what you want us to do next. And maybe I'll take a trip out here in the middle of the country uh, to go work on these things. So uh, with that, I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button, share the video, subscribe if you're new, and most importantly, have an awesome day. I'll catch all of you in the next video.